Alright then, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. So in this episode, I believe it's finally time to take on the Ancient Cave, which first involves getting down into the Ancient Cave. Hopefully I timed that somewhat correctly. So the, the tricky part with this is that I've just got to... I, I have a, a, a dialogue option to choose here, and I actually have to click down once to choose the right one, so... That's unfortunate. Gotta wait a bit. And I also have to time it going in, too, so that I don't keep mashing for too long. Alright, so that should hopefully be good enough. My menu seems to be opening at the correct time, so... That's good, because if I hit Continue Journey, I would keep going underneath. And that wouldn't be useful at all. I'd end up in the Figaro Desert, and that, and I'd be in the middle of nowhere, essentially. So I just hold right at that point to get back into the jail. I'm breaking into jail, guys. Because that's a useful thing to do a lot of times, right? Alright, there's this guy walking around here on a fixed pattern, so I've got to be careful. I'd otherwise just be able to go right and up until I hit the jail cell, but there's a possibility I'll get stuck that way, so... I've got to go a different direction. I just have to go all the way to the right. Then I'll be lined up with a pot, and there's no reason to be lined up with the pot. I want to be lined up with the jail cell, so let's take one step back and then walk into the... Hopefully, what will be the ancient cave here. And not walking back into the castle. I do that all the time, really. This portion's probably just going to serve to highlight just how OP my team is at this point. I mean, seriously, <laughs> that's what it's going to be. Oh yeah, I just realized I forgot to set my cursor positions. So that's going to make Master Tom very annoying. Do I want to go back now? Nah, I can probably take him. Famous last words, right? I'll have to improvise a little bit because I don't know who's on what cursor. Right one, down. So basically I just had to go around a rock there, and now I can just go left and up until the chest. There we go. Now walk all the way to the left. And now I can use right and up to go most of the way to the Master Tomberry entrance. I end up ascending a staircase in the wrong direction as I do this. But that's the price I have to pay for this route, because... It's a little bit roundabout, and I wouldn't like to do it if there were battles here and I had to fight them. But because I'm just Moogle charming out of this and copping out, this is just the easiest thing to memorize, which means it's the least frisky thing to do. Of course, leaving my uh, controller slots in the random positions like a dummy is not is a fairly risky thing to do, so... That's probably far enough. Down and right now. And this will bring me even closer to the Master Tomberry door, because I've only got one more movement to make after this, essentially, to get lined up with it. It just works out pretty nicely. I originally tried going for the Master Tomberry before I went for the Wing Edge, which admittedly probably isn't that pointless. Any it isn't that pointful anyway. But that ended up being a lot more complicated to do, so... Alright, back one, and now I can go for the chest. Here we go. He can still kill me, I think, but hopefully he won't. This must be, uh, Mogger Celeste. This is Gao. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is Mog. He must be on controller slot two. And I gotta set mine off. Mog's the only one on controller slot two, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I got set mine there. So let's see who comes up first. This has gotta be Mog or Celeste, and it'll be Celeste, right? He wall changed, that means he might start doing dangerous things. Oh, 
Oh, that's weird. Oh. Well, I guess I highlighted uh, Celeste a long time ago. Okay. Gao is the dead one. Well, they're both dead at this point. Actually, having being able to tell Mog and Celeste apart actually has its advantages too, so this isn't all that terrible. Okay, this is Celeste. You can get out of the way. Yeah, I see he's not gonna hurt me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not a Celeste should be coming back up again. Just one more set mine will do him in. Well darn. You heal Gao up. Yeah, as I thought, that was Celeste. Let's get you out of the way. Have you used Mesosaur, and Gao should be coming up next as well. Oh, he's dead. Doesn't matter. Goodbye, Master Tomberry. Your existence wasn't pointless, I guess. I mean, it was pretty pointless, let's be honest here, but... Well, I got a whopping greatest, but I wanted to kill all the bosses as one of my goals, so... Master Tomberry, you had to die. So I just back up one, and then I can go through the secret passageway. Now that I think about it, it might have been an okay route to back actually straight out into the last room and then go back for the wing edge. I don't know if that would have been decent or not. All I know is that I'm not going to sort it out at this point. Back around the outcropping of rock, and now I can go down and left. Which won't quite get me down, to the, down the short staircase down there, but it'll get me close. So yeah, the next, rest of the segment's just grabbing treasure and skedaddling all, all over the save point there. Up, left, and then down in an end shape. Now I can just go up and right and up, which unfortunately, well maybe if I can guess right, I can, yep. It would have, if I had of uh, used right and up as far as I could have, I would have just reached the top right and I wouldn't have opened the chest so I would have had to wait a while for safety but I just happened to feel for it and guess right where the chest was and when I was lined up with it which admittedly isn't too difficult because I have quite a long stretch when I'm up against a wall that helps me out a little and thankfully going down and left here just totally lines me up with this short staircase again so that's nice I kind of got to go long distances in this dungeon to avoid nastier short distances, if you know what I mean. Because all the shortest routes through here are nasty to remember. So I go left and up to line myself up with the exit here. And then I go through the screen transition, which is weird because most of the screens in the game don't transition like this, but this takes me all the way to the side. Big down, well, for relative sizes of big, I suppose. Big left. Small down, small left. And now I should be lined up with the staircase, and then I'll hit the save point. That went surprisingly smoothly, despite the couple hitches. You know, let's just do this now so I don't forget for later. Uh, yay, see you next time. No, no, this is a mini-segment. I'm going to be doing two more mini-segments here, so don't see you next time. Alright then, let's try this again. Since I already just had a fail, like two seconds ago, my cursors are already set up, so all I need to do is hold down the A button. As unriveting as that sounds, but... One to the right, all the way up to the top. And now I have to go through this cutscene again, whoop de doo
at this point, I think it would have technically been faster to just walk, just to have just walked back to the save point after this, the the cutscene went off the first time, saved, and then done another segment. But uh, whatever. I thought Katana Soul would go down in like two attempts, but one attempt even maybe, but apparently that's not the case. So I've got to go go through Odin murdering a bunch of scrubs and then sucking against a boss like he always does because you just don't use instant death attacks against the boss. I think he needs to learn how to play Final Fantasy. When you're in Final Fantasy, you got to learn how to play Final Fantasy. Otherwise, I mean, you can get through life without it. Even though life is clearly much worse without Final Fantasy, am I right? <laughs> Dead. Also, uh, being vulnerable to break, like, petrify status when you're alone, also not a very good idea. Who's this ghost guy supposed to be, anyway? Alright, now we're through that again. All the way up to the top. Hopefully Katana Soul decides to play ball this time. I mean, I've got a very, very tiny advantage in that I don't have to get my cursor set up, but I don't think it'll honestly matter. Down left lines me up with this wall here, which is thankfully only one step away from the lining myself up with the archway. I thought it would be a little bit farther, I'd have to go backwards, but apparently not. So that works for me. The first bit before I get into the actual castle proper is fairly nice, but once I get into the, like, every room in the castle's terrible, pretty much, because there's not anything, there's generally nothing to hit myself up against, so I just have to, like, count out steps a lot. Hello, Katana Soul, please don't kill me this time. I'm just gonna hold A at your face. Technically a good opening, but... As I noted in my last attempt, every other time he opened with a physical attack, I've always uh, gotten bolt scroll, wave scroll, and then uh, dead by blowfish. I'll just hold Celeste's turn in this time. Well, uh, that's different than last time anyway. How many travelers is that? Three? I think I just need one more. That's okay. I don't mind a fire scroll. I do mind that though, okay, I'll stop being a scrub. Gale cut is not gonna hurt. Gale cut e doesn't even really hurt when my entire party's there. Because even though it hits Ga Mog and Gogo, it sucks so bad that it doesn't even kill either of them. <laughs> Gosh, gal. You're gonna get a blowfish to the face soon. If you keep this up. Thankfully, none of the elements do anything to him, but Water Score wipes the rest of the party because I didn't want to bother stealing anything. Not when steel has a low chance of actually working. That's not gonna matter. Gal, you can do it. Just use Traveler. There we go. Finally. I mean, I could have just used the instant death method from the start. Or the confuse and then he kills himself method from the start. But, whatever. Or could I have even used a phoenix down on him? I don't remember if that works. I always just use since I don't think it works. Down. Oh yeah, right. 
let's just walk back up to the top there. It's not where I was supposed to go. Don't want to slip up because of something dumb like that. So now I go down and out. Thankfully this spot lines it up fairly nicely. All I have to do is exit and then I can run right and I happen to hit like the one object that's around the place. And yes, I do slip by that little lake even though it looks like I'm going to hit the top of it. So that's fine too. Now unfortunately the door there is automatically closed, but... I mean, not closed, open. If it was closed it would be no problem. Now here's the annoying part, where I gotta start counting steps. One, two, three, and I hate doing this because I always end up like wanting to mix things up when I've got a whole bunch of fours, threes, and twos to remember. But hopefully I'll be alright. The other enemy that I have to slaughter off this in this segment is not really any threat at all, so it's just down to the navigation at this point. So this time it's four. One, two, three, four, and then I go up to the door. There we go. And now I just go up to Odin, who thankfully tells me when I'm at the other end, so that shortens this considerably. So just gotta wait until I hear that sound that tells me, hey, I've gotten a magicite. Woo! Now I just hit the switch a couple times because I kept mashing the button for no reason whatsoever. Now I can walk to the right. Back to, now I walk up to the top. You know, I should have thought about it with the chess, like under the, in the ancient cave area. I might have been able to get some on the way back a little bit easier than getting them on the way there. I'll have to remember that for Brave New World. I'm totally not going to remember that for Brave New World. Down. I'll hit a pillar here, which is a lifesaver, because I don't know what I'd do otherwise. Well, actually, if there are no pillars here at all, I would just be able to down and right after a bit, and I'd be fine that way. It would be a pretty easy thing to nail, so... Right and down a whole bunch. So this will bring me into the Queen's Room, where there's no encounters! Yay! That'll help a lot! So once I reach this little alcove here, I can just walk back out of it, because that's not useful. Unfortunately, I just barely don't make it to the staircase, which would have made this very, very nice, actually. One, two, three, all the way to the right. Now I enter this room that contains the water dragon and the statue that I need to get the magicite. Get my, the second piece of magicite for this segment. I mean, technically I'm giving up the first piece of magicite, but who cares. And while I could technically use quick, I pretty much can't get any use out of it because it costs too much MP, and I'm definitely not going to be stealing an economizer. I mean, I'm sure there's stuff I could do with it still, considering I could get a gold hairpin out of the deal. I mean, like, equip a gold hairpin and then get quick out of that. One, two, three, four. Oh, well, perfect. Now it's whole day. But the thing is, it would still require 50 MP tincture every single time I use quick to replenish it, and at that point I'd just be giving up a turn to get an extra turn, and that's just not useful at all. I could have someone like uh, Gower Gogo -Go utilize quick and then have one of the scrubs give them their MP back, but... That's honestly not super amazing either. Mostly because Gao and Gogo -Go would have to use quick and then they'd only get like two rages out of it. And then that would be once every once in a blue moon, so it would be annoying to plan for. And that's all the battling I have to do. I'm not sure whether Aqua Rake is undodgeable. If it is, then it 
killed the rest of the party because they still can't defend it against water in any way. But hopefully I didn't walk to the, into the blue dragon on my way left. Nope. But even if they're dead, I'm not fighting anything else, so it makes no difference at all. Down. So now I've just got to leave. There's some pretty long walks in this area, but I've actually got not too many, like, memorization steps to till I get out of here, so... It's probably not going to be too big a deal. So yeah, it's always fairly long, but it's not that long. It's just... Oh, well, maybe I should make sure I'm out of the, uh... Cutscene here before I go. Um, what? Why is this taking so long? I do not know what's happening. That's a... Uh... No, it's... I haven't lost control over my emulator. Oh wait. I think I just accidentally uh, went into a different menu emulator. Oh shoot! I reset it. Dang it! Well, uh, that's probably the dumbest fail ever. I reset my emulator. I might want to decouple that uh, emulator with the controller option. <laughs> in hindsight, uh, that's kind of aggravating. You know what? Forget it. That that just doesn't even count. Cause uh, I mean, it's just that my cursor somehow lost. It's just that my controller suddenly stopped doing anything. I I don't even know what happened, but and I mean, thinking about it, if this was the wrong console, I definitely would not have reset it like that. So one. Two. So I'm not even going to call that a blooper. It was pretty easy to get back to exactly the same position, although I'm not 100% sure if Celeste died last time or not. But it's the difference of one phoenix down between what happened legitimately and what happened that I just cheated my way back here with fast forward and uh, with my eyes open. <laughs> I seriously just don't think that counts. <laughs> Let's be honest here. I mean, if you disagree, feel free to yell at me in the comments. So yeah, hopefully with no mishaps this time. Just gonna go all the way up to the top here. I put myself exactly back in the same spot I was last time too, because... And I knew I was there because I just had the event, so it's not even like I gained anything at all out of the deal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, that should be enough to line me myself up with the uh, doorway here. And unfortunately, uh, I've got a humongous walk downwards because... I've got to walk out of the queen, queen and king's room, the throne room. Got to walk out of the foyer or the foyer, I don't know. And then I got to walk out of the ancient castle area, and then I got to get to the bottom of that save point area, which is like three screen transitions and quite a distance. And see how close I was to the end too. That's if it was like two seconds from the start, and that happened, I probably would have uh, just redone it, but... redone the whole thing from scratch, but... Alright, that's... even for this, that's... I'm probably getting on long enough. 
right one up to the top. I just need to take right one step just to make sure that I'm not still in line with that staircase, otherwise I'm just going straight back the way I came. Yep, there we go. Now this segment is over. Hopefully you don't find it too big a deal that... <laughs> that I kind of half cheated like that, but it really makes no difference. Okay then, let's finish cleaning out this area, then I'll have four destinations left on my list. Till I can go help Kefka kick the bucket. So yeah, that's not too long a walk, just gotta walk up the staircase and another little hole in the ground. So now I go right and up, That'll take it back, take me back through the weird exit. As you may have guessed, all the treasures that I'm leaving lying around are crud like axe ethers, X potions, ethers, all that junk that I don't need at all. So I do not mind at all leaving it in this pit. It can rot here for all eternity. It's probably far enough down and right for a while, not too long at all. Because I just need to reach a little alcove here where I can get myself stuck on the rock. probably far enough. Left one, and now I go down and right some more. Basically I just need to go around there and now I can line myself very up very nicely for the rest of this. So now I can just start transitioning into the right and ups and this will take me all the way straight back through that secret passageway in the Master Tonberry area and I'll pretty much exit this room. Like I won't quite get there but I'll be very close. And then everything just lines up nicely for me to leave, which is nice because things haven't been lining up very nicely at all thus far. So yeah, this is quite a walk, gotta put a bit of safety on it, but I'm probably there already. Left one, all the way up to the top. And then... This isn't too long, and then I can just go left and up, and the entire area just zigzags in that direction until I get straight to that door that I need to enter. So that's just nice. This time, I don't mind if I re-enter the cave to, uh, under the the cave to the ancient castle. I don't usually react fast enough time during the music switch to avoid walking out, but there I wanted to because I want to be careful about this guard here. Yeah, just gotta time that briefly with the music because otherwise this guy here can be a little bit dangerous. After all, he does have a set pattern, so he is walking back and forth. You'd think the uh, NPCs with the set patterns would be more dangerous than the random NPCs, but honestly, sometimes they're just as bad. Because you can't usually predict where they're gonna be well enough to avoid them, and you're more likely to get infinitely stuck, whereas the random NPCs, it's like get stuck on them for a moment and sometimes you won't know if they're there or not. In some ways it's kind of pick your poison, but the uh... I mean when there's too much randomness like in Nikea, that's when I start getting horrible problems. Alright, one step right to get around the clock. One step right to get around the railing. Now I can just go left. Which, thankfully, due to the layout of the castle, just brings me straight back into the other uh, room with the other guy who makes me move and stuff. Eloquently put me. S two screen transitions or not, that's probably enough. Hello, guy. Feel free to pull your switch. Okay, so... I'll just let this go for a bit, just for like a couple more seconds. Now I'll start to menu trick slowly. I can be a little bit less cautious with the continued journey when I have to select continue journey all the time. Alright, so I've done this once. Thankfully I don't have to select the second option any more times. Which was the definitely the annoying part. The 
this was perhaps the most annoying spot in the routing because this just takes so long. Should be soon. Alright, so talk to him again. Oh wait, I don't want to do that. Shoot, I forgot that it would uh, select continue journey, and then I wouldn't open my menu during that time. So I'll just uh, s go down and select the option there three or four times, just to make absolute sure that I've told him no, I do not want to be going anywhere. There we go. Probably good. Walk back up to the guy, because I probably walked down a couple steps. And now I just walk out of here. Like it was nothing. See you later, ancient castle. You gave me nothing that was useful, except that gold hairpin. Because that might actually come in handy. Whoops. Probably not on save anymore. I probably was on save, actually. Only six minutes for the last bit, but this is already a decent length, so see you next time.